In Hollywood, there's no one quite like Jennifer Aniston. Acting might be where she shines, but you've definitely seen her face in other places. Between endorsements, investments, and product lines, Aniston has carved out a decent income completely separate from the screen. Here's where some of Jen's money comes from. Jennifer Aniston is one of the most commanding names in Hollywood. She was the fifth highest paid actress in 2019, according to Forbes, and she's landed on the annual list ever since the seventh season of Friends. Speaking of the beloved sitcom, Aniston and her former castmates set all-time highs with their salaries during the show's final seasons. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Jennifer and her co-stars were making $1 million an episode during the later seasons. Wow. Aniston could have taken the money, quit acting, and run, but she continued to bank off her success and her worth on set. With her big return to television in 2019's The Morning Show on Apple TV+, she reportedly took home $1.25 million an episode. <laughs> my first paycheck! Oh, look at the window! There's oh. my name! Hi, me! <laughs> Jennifer Aniston and her TV friends clearly made bank on the show, but they're still doing pretty well thanks to its enduring success. Even more than 25 years after its premiere, Warner Media forked over $425 million to get the exclusive streaming rights for the show on HBO Max. After the lead cast salary renegotiations in 2000, they're all guaranteed 2% of the revenue, which means Aniston is taking home nearly $20 million a year without lifting a finger. Although Rachel Green dealt with a long line of bad boyfriends before she found her happily ever after with Ross, perhaps it's just back pay for years of televised emotional distress. God, isn't this exciting? I earned this. I wiped tables for it, I steamed milk for it, and it was totally not worth it. It's clear that Jennifer Aniston knows the value of a good product and of her public approval. In 2017, she had endorsement deals with Avino, Emirates Airlines, and Smartwater. She was also an ambassador for hair care brand Living Proof for years, and although they parted ways, her stake in the company added a decent boost to her bank account. So what makes the Dumplin' star such a bankable ambassador? According to Elle, a celebrity awareness database reported that 91% of people found Aniston appealing in 2018, and the only women to outscore her then were former First Lady Michelle Obama and Duchess Kate Middleton. But goofy smart water commercials aside, how much does Aniston actually make from her high-profile deals? According to Forbes editor Natalie Robamed, I would estimate she makes over $10 million a year through her endorsements, easily. What can we say? As she told us in her L'Oreal commercial back in the day, Because I'm worth it. In addition to commercial deals, Jennifer Aniston has branched out into the fragrance world. She's released six successful fragrances available in department stores across the United States. In 2017, Aniston told People, Remember when you were a kid and your mom would have these different bottles on her vanity and they were always so beautiful? It just made me feel like I looked forward to being able to wear perfumes when I was a woman. While it's unknown how much Aniston takes home from her perfume deals, they retail for around $30 to $40 a piece. She certainly knows what she's talking about when it comes to quality cosmetic products. In 2012, Total Beauty estimated that Aniston dropped over $140,000 a year on beauty and healthcare items. It's no secret that basically everyone has been dying for a Friends reunion. And while we won't be seeing the gang return to Central Perk anytime soon, the actors, Jennifer Aniston included, signed on for an unscripted HBO Max special in 2020, according to Deadline. The Friends cast will reportedly take home between three to four million dollars each for the one-off special. Although it has been indefinitely delayed due to the pandemic, Aniston told Deadline she was staying optimistic. It seems that she is just as excited to hit the series' old soundstage as we are to watch it. Like she said to Deadline, You're never going to get rid of friends. Sorry, you're with us for life, guys. <laughs> now what's more important, your friends or money? Friends! friends. 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 <laughs> In 2020, Jennifer Aniston upped her business in the skincare game when she became the chief creative officer for collagen supplement brand Vital Proteins. In an Instagram post, Jennifer said, When the opportunity presented itself to be a part of the brand in a bigger way, I jumped on it. 
Although it's unclear how much Aniston is taking home with her position at Vital Proteins, the company is certainly on the rise. In June 2020, Forbes reported that Nestle Health Science had bought a majority stake, and the collagen company had grown to more than $100 million in annual sales after just four years. Considering Jennifer has such gorgeous skin, we think we believe she knows what she's talking about. As for her other beauty secrets… There's a regiment, guys. <sighs> this doesn't happen just by accident. This, she's pumped full of I'm supplements. I'm filled with B12s and Cs like and all sorts of like D. She told Harper's Bazaar, I always tell my friends to get more sleep and drink more water. If you're dehydrated or you've underslept, it really shows on your skin. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.